I've got a trailer that goes with it. Really? You tow stuff with this? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, I want to see. What's the, uh, what's the capacity for it? How much can it tow? Like 1,200 pounds? You talking about the trailer? Yeah, yeah. How much can it tow? Oh, oh my gosh! God. Oh my god, there's more stuff out here. Is this the trailer? Oh that's, my gosh, that's it the trailer. It matches. It's literally a uh, pound for pound. It's literally the same thing. How good! I bet you can well, put a sidecar on it. You know what? No other trailer is worthy of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like literally an extension <laughs> of the car. Nice. That's a refrigerator. That's a whole refrigerator. Yes, it is a refrigerator. <laughs> it is a refrigerator. <laughs> an old. Refrigerator, if you were to escape a nuclear bomb, you could literally hop in there like Indiana Jones and just... Well, <laughs> this is a refrigerator. This back here is a stove top. Oh my God, you literally granted a stove to a refrigerator. And the yeah. uh, the sign on the back came out of the river behind the house up in Maine. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. What's in That's the fridge? Amazing. Just uh, here, yeah, if you hold open? this, I'll I will. Exactly. I will. So the, way, the way this is made is so that I can get a spare tire and a jack in here. Oh, okay. Get this off. You have to pull the pin. Uh. Put the sidecar in there. There's a thing. Uh, third wheel. Literal third wheel. Then you lift this off. You just put your tires See, that's where the, the spare tire and the jack goes. Yes. And then once you lift that off, you should be able to raise up the refrigerator door. Okay, yep, it's just a classic refrigerator. So, Lovely. I bet you could put a third seat in there if someone would tag along for the ride. You know, you could, but uh, I kind of like That's the terrifying. Idea of, <laughs> if you go to a car show in that car, you don't have room for anything. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So you put your ice box. Yeah, you oh, put a bunch of coats noise. and stuff. Noise. And you, when you close this Get down, you, can, you know those tents that you put up? Yeah, yeah. Well, this will fit. A tent, one of those tents will fit between these two pins right here. Yeah, okay. You lay the, your tent, your tent oh, down. Oh, lovely. Top and you strap it down. Then when you get the car show, you can set up your tent, get out your cooler, have your tools. So it's good show ready. It's all like a golf sorts of features for the show you get between this and that. Yeah. That's lovely. But not a single wrench. You disappoint me. <laughs> not a single wrench. Well, keep looking, babe. Yeah, you don't sure. know yet. <laughs> I, I, I have the ability to let people down. I have been, I have well, you've been, got a bottle opener, so that's I have been service. criticized and divorced over that. So, you know, <laughs> not enough wrenches. Not enough wrenches. <laughs> Just written enough on official paperwork. Definitely enough refrigerator and uh, oven. Definitely enough refrigerator and oven for my tastes. So. All right. Phil Coe, your legend lives on. <laughs> That's Phil, by the way. The name of the refrigerator is, is Phil. Phil. That's, That's very Phil. good. That's very Phil, good. you live on in a car show near you. There's, a, there's an artist up in Maine that gave me that refrigerator. Yes. Luke. Luke. Luke, you know Luke, and uh, and it's Everything Phil. Just... Oh, so he so that's the that's the reason this that's the reason that has a trailer hitch is so I can attach this to it and take it to the car show. That's lovely. <laughs> you must be quite a hit with your drinks and your rat your ride. Your drinks and your ride. <laughs> your Franken ride. Your Franken drinks. Right. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just cannot sit in there without feeling like I'm fearing for my life, but that's part of the experience. That's part of what, it, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> if you nice. didn't, if you didn't say that, I'd be disappointed. Exactly. Nice. There you go. Nice. There you go. <laughs> uh, here's your coffee. Oh, thanks, babe. I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> Do y'all work up an appetite yet? Yes. Absolutely. Your death experience why is always working. Why don't we take a comfortable air-conditioned car yes. and go get some breakfast? That sounds lovely. Works for me. You good? Yes. <laughs> well, thank you I, for participating in the uh, life and death so, experiments. In the uh, yeah, whatever <laughs> for participating. So uh, my car is. Um, I mean, my phone is probably charging. Do you want to charge here? Ah, that's probably that. Oh yeah, twenty percent. <laughs> Oh, there is one more over here. Uh, oh, the Rambler. Yeah, it's uh, a. What is that? Is that a. Do you want me to plug in your sound bit? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Huh. No, what? Really? I'll let you tell me. What do you think it is? Good with models. Definitely is awesome. 
it's it's a little neglected and dusty at the moment, but it runs. I just haven't uh, driven it much lately or cleaned it up. God, it's, just, it's coming off the tip of my tongue, but it's like, you gotta help me out here. It's a Rambler. It is a Rambler, sorry. I love it though. You got another, is that another uh, piston clutch? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. This is beautiful though. It's got most of the original interior and everything. It's shiny. Yeah. God. It's like a car museum here. It's perfect. Yeah, it sums it up pretty well. Like a car museum here. Just all these old things that once was ubiquitous everywhere, and now it's just... Well, this is really true. This was the poor man's car back in the day. Really? If you couldn't afford a Ford or a Chevrolet, you could afford a Rambler because they were the cheapest cars around. And actually, this was a compact car back in its day. Considering that the way compact cars look nowadays, if you've ever seen a Chevy Spark or a Chevy Sonic or... Right. Just avoid those entirely. I, for personal experience, they were terrible, but... Well, if you ever saw a 65 uh, Ford Galaxy sitting next to this, it's like twice as... It looks like it's twice as long, you know? Right. Just for just to, for example, you know? How do people park anywhere? Compact car, literally. How do they park anywhere with these... Well, we had more space and less people back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, yeah, where's the dog? She's up there. There's the dog. <laughs> but uh, he showed me the Rumbler, Rambler, and apparently this was a uh, cheaper model back then for people who wanted one. How much was it uh, back in the day, you reckon, like? Oh, I don't know. You know, if... Uh, well, money was worth more back then, so... Yeah. You know, if the Pontiac was 3600 this would have been twenty five or something like that, or 2000 you know, something like that. But it, this this came with a flathead four-cylinder engine. Uh, it's got a Chevy engine and running gear in it right now, so it's okay. fast, but back... Back in the day, it was the slowest thing on the road. Oh, lovely. People, <laughs> people talk about, you know, when you go uphill, everybody would lean forward. Oh, <laughs> Just I love to that. Get you up oh. that yeah. I've had a car like that. But it's good. It's a good family car, it looks like. They got, like, the cabin benches and stuff. Yeah. So, well, we got the, what all left, you got to fix in that. Like, uh, you said it's, you were working It's on good. It. I'm just going to make it better. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to put a, I've got a, I've got an engine in here to go, that I'm going to put in it, and uh, I'm going to, Oh, it's already got a it's already got a big Chevy motor oh, in it. Oh, I've just got a better one in here. Oh, an even better one. Upgrade This is the engine that this is the engine that Todd built, and I actually this was the engine. Engine this is the engine that was uh, that I took out of that car and I gave it to Todd, and he rebuilt it and sold it back to me and this is the engine that's going to go in it it's so it's gonna need a little bit more uh stuff in it i guess well it just needs to be i just need to finish putting it back together i've got all the pieces and parts okay no inches i'm kidding uh, but this is gonna be good for the car yeah god just seeing this big speed wheat for the people back then but it was a good car for its time i mean yeah, you could take a look in nowadays you drive over gravel in a <clears throat> like anything nearly and it just falls apart. They got the arc welding on it too, of course. Yeah, that uh, rat rod's dirty on the ground, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I had to duck my head. My head was a little bit above the uh, <laughs> limb, so I kept thinking I was going to get like my head. In Are the we as dirty as the rat rod? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful <laughs> that one. Wear a helmet if, on the rat rod if you can. That's my daughter. It's your great parents. I'm an Ed side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll go grab my wallet and uh, see if Honey Bay wants to go with us. And we'll... well, I got my wallet for you, so we'll continue this video extravaganza. I brought the kids out here to visit the Georgia Godstones. When I showed up, somebody had uh, driven a Pontiac Bonneville convertible with Ohio plates on it, and it has those old original Bonneville wheels that were completely unique to that car back in the day. We had a 63 Catalina, but these Bonnevilles were very familiar cars from back then. It's pretty interesting to see someone driving one with Ohio plates on it. It's a lovely thing. Oh, the joy. Isn't it pretty? 
I just thought I'd get out and show you that. Just so you'd have something unique to look at. Okay. Oh, the joy. <laughs> 